Catherine, back in 2016, there was a 25 year old young man who spent time shadowing his father here at this Caltrans office at Manchester Center. And one day on his way to work, he stopped at a gas station just up the street. And investigators say he was shot and killed by gang members. Now his friends and family are waiting on justice. Even two years later, it's a scene Angelisa Maldonado can't erase from her mind. It happened right there. Like his car was right there. He was lying right there. Maldonado's sister told her the man killed in this shooting near Manchester Center was one of her best friends, Baraket Shita. She's like, he got shot and he died. So I turned on the news and it was just my heart just felt like it just dropped. Described as a loving father, son, and friend, even Fresno Police Chief Jerry Dyer got choked up about the loss of an innocent man. A, a pain that they're going to have to live with the rest of their life. Investigators say Shita was shot and killed in September of 2016 after crossing paths with gang members at a gas station. He never had an issue with anybody. Never. He's one of those who would try to stop the situation before he even got out of control. And for, so for that to happen, it's just like, yeah, he was at the wrong place at the wrong time, but he was going to work. After months of investigation, Fresno police detectives arrested 20-year-old Kenneth Lee for the murder. Another suspect, Devon Fisher, is still on the run from the law. In the meantime, Sheeta's friends and family remain heartbroken and trying to pick up the pieces. We can't see him face to face is what actually breaks us down still. We have to go to the cemetery to visit him. And that's not something that we still want. And there is a $2,000 reward out for any information that leads to the arrest of Devon Fisher. Now, I did actually talk to the father of the victim in this case, and he says he's very thankful for the hard work of investigators to lead to that.